Well, this is Artifacts of Mars with an emergency message. I don't like posting on YouTube, but in this case, we're going to make an exception. This is important. There's a second migrant caravan. Migrant. Why are they calling them that? They came from uh, Guatemala, and supposedly they are carrying weapons, guns, Molotov cocktails, and improvised rocket launchers. Uh, apparently, some deal with PVC pipe and uh, fireworks or something. That's according to UK Daily Mail. Second caravan making their way up through Central America have members armed with explosives. Has members armed with explosives. They made a boo boo. Had gasoline bombs made of soft drink bottles, which is a Molotov cocktail, and then provided some PVC, PVC tubes to launch fireworks. Otherwise known as bazoo improvised bazooka, basically. Mexican Federal Police briefly blocked the migrants from crossing the Suchiat River on Monday. But the migrants soon defied law enforcement presence and broke through into Mexico. Now, this changes everything because this makes it mandatory we use our military to defend our country. Unfortunately, I am at a loss to explain this. Trump wants to build tent cities. Where are you going to build them? In Mexico? Don't build them here. You said they're not, you're not going to bring them in here. I wouldn't let them within 100 miles of this place, this country. I'm not pleased with that whatsoever. Okay, so why don't we look at some pictures here. Okay, we're going to run through these pictures quickly. Um, oh, but artifacts is women and children. Yeah, they're using them for human shields. Sorry, if they're crossing our borders with guns and weapons, they're an enemy invading force if, as far as I'm concerned. But notice something. These are almost all young men of military age. There isn't that many women and children in these pictures that I've seen. There's a whole column of them. They're carrying guns and bombs. That makes it a military situation and makes it mandatory that they be met with deadly force. I mean, Jesus Christ. I can't walk down the street. I can't walk down the street with a shotgun. I'd have the cops on me and nothing flat. You don't let these sons of bitches come here from Mexico and storm our border? I don't think so. Now, I'm a lot better. I'm a long way away, ways away from the border. If I was living down there, I'd have my guns ready. I'll tell you that much. If they get across the border and Trump doesn't do something, then we're going to have to. Well, these pictures don't tell you everything you need to know. He'll capture the Mexican police flies over members of the second migrant caravan, mostly Hondurans, as he crossed the Suchiat River, however you pronounce it. But again, but again, what we have here are young men of military age, mostly. It's just as I've been told by the talk show hosts. That's what I keep hearing on Rush and Savage and so forth. These are men of military age, and they are. And if they're carrying guns and weapons, we have to use our military to defend this country. This is not a police matter. This is a military matter. You can tell most of them are men of military age, and they're using women and children as human shields. 
This is one of my favorite pictures of the series. Here they come, folks. There's enough of them to cause mayhem that will make the recent attack by some maggot in Pittsburgh, that will make that look insignificant. Here they're forming a human chain. Uh, crossing a river. Once again, mostly uh, young men of military age. Few women in this one, it's mostly men. Uh... If you think they won't pick up guns, you're sadly mistaken. And may I point out, they've already committed multiple acts of war against Mexico, and Mexico doesn't know how to defend itself. If you're storming across the border like that, that's an act of war. This is an organized thing. It's an act of war. So, President Trump, I hope you're willing to use our military for something more than just backing up the border guard. The border guard is not going to be able to handle this. Ice or whatever. They're not going to be able to handle this invasion. Even if they're unarmed, and if they are armed with guns and bombs and such, they're big time not going to be able to. So, President Trump, you have got to be ready to use the military for their express purpose, which is to turn back this invasion. I think once the lead starts flying, I think they'll turn around and go home. Of course, the media will be in a frenzy, complaining about, it. screw them. Screw them. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching. If you're down near the border and you're a patriot, load them up. Thanks for watching.